Okay, folks, we've got an 18 by 24 inch campers and the top part here has just been coated in a very thin layer of linseed oil and titanium white oil paint mixed about 50-50. I put a little sketch on before I put the oil paint on at the top. Uh, we're gonna have a nice little path there into some farms. It's gonna be winter, it's gonna be cold. Um, so let's get on with it. Okay, so I've taken a little bit of uh, yellow ochre and white and a touch of red. Now you might not pick that up, but I just wanna put on a little faint glow. They're gonna be the hills and the moorlands just in the in the distance just over here. So I just want a little bit of yellowy tint to the canvas, maybe make it a touch stronger there. Oh, maybe not that strong. Okay, I picked up the candy yellow by accident, but that's okay. We can just tone that out by just rubbing it firmly into the white that's already on the canvas. In fact, that looks actually a little bit what I want. A little bit of a yellowy glow. I've got the red in the mix as well, just because I'm going to hit it with some blue now. And I don't want the blue to turn a green sky. Um, so a little bit of blue. What does that look? Ba baby blue. So mix the blues till they look almost babyish. And I'm going to just throw some colour up here, just like so. Pick it up. I want it very pastely, very palely colour today. Don't want any any strong colours up in the sky or in the you know mid distance. Uh, when we get close to us, we're going to have some some colours popping out at us, but not what too much. So let's put some more up there as well. We're going to have some trees, as you can see from the sketch. I only decided what kind of trees they're going to be. I'm, I'm thinking silvery birches. Okay, silver birches. So we may go with that. I'm just taking a little bit of a stronger colour, stronger blue, just up in the top corner. Okay, so now we've got that in place. Coat the whole canvas with it. Blend it all together. Smooth it out. Go over the yellow there. Like that. It's a nice little glow over the horizon. Okay. I've nearly taken the sketch away that I've blended it so hard. Anyway, how strong is this? This is just the same grey that we've got in the sky. Just uh, a little bit. It looks a little... A lot stronger to be honest, but it's it's not really. It's uh, it's just thicker paint that I've put on. So I just want a little blue, blue hill over here, just like that. And I'm just going to tease that into nothing, blend it away. So put a bit of colour on and blend it away, like that. Can't really see much shape. It goes into the nothing right over there, and maybe it comes down here like that. Uh, really push the paint in. I'm using a really stiff, firm artist brush for this, so I, I, I can get away with it. Don't use a soft one, okay? There, like that. That's one layer done. Of course, step back and have a look before you carry on. I want some trees as well at some point in in this i'm just going to put another lump of what we call the pennines just here and just again it's just the same color i'm just plowing it on thicker than than the colors before than the layers before and that'll look darker but it's the same color really it's just a bit bit darker because of the because of how thick you put it on and really scrub it in okay remember this is a dry canvas so we can we can do that. Right, take that on a little bit bigger there. See, the more I rub it, uh, and the more the more it'll go into the same sort of values that we've got in the back. Okay, I'm going to put that there anyway. But we're going to have a tree over the top. So don't don't beat yourself to death over that. Or work yourself to death. Why would you beat yourself to death? I don't know. So anyway, just push this in. Put the brush around. Push, push, push. Right over the house. Just push it in, push it in. Right, now we've got most of the paint off the tips of the bristles of this, this big brush. I'm just going to dip into a touch of lightish brown that I made. Uh, uh, that I made from burnt umber. Uh, a little tiny touch of 
yellow ochre and plenty of white now where we want as trees there now you can hardly see them you can hardly see them but they're there okay just like that and that's it that's your distant uh, distant trees let's put some more down okay the branches the twigs everything the treetops just way back there these are snow covered hills or the mountains the pennines okay i love the pennines I'm going there tomorrow just for a little walk there we go so i right, take some beautiful photographs just throw it in get a bit more i uh, think we will put some more just there just a bit of color when these things are when, when the, these elements are this far away you can't pick out any detail it's just basic color and shape okay i can't see tree trunks i can't see twigs and leaves or anything like that i just know that there's a lump of trees there okay another one there as well that's on this cold cold mountainside and i'll just get all the excess paint off the brush like that right over the sketch Throw a bit more colour down there. I'm just going to pick a, a little bit there like that. Just, just float it in. Float it in on the brush. Okay. Just like that. Just a bit of, bit of brown. bit of yellow ochre. Plenty of white. Tops of trees. Way back. Way back. Right. And that's his backdrop for his lovely little farm or cottage. Way back up here. Okay. And tease it up. Tease it in, okay. What have I got on there? Not much, so we can just blend it about, wisp it about there. Like that may want it a bit stronger under here, so but not much stronger. So I'm just gonna dip straight into the tiniest touch of raw brown. Well, it's 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 actually uh burnt umber, I think, or Van Dyke Brown, one of the two. When I say raw colour, I haven't mixed it with anything, but now I am. I'm mixing it on here like that, just to give it a little bit more oomph to some of these trees. Flip the brush around with all the dirty things on it, and away we go. Yeah, like that. Good stuff. So, what colour should we do down in the mid ground? Uh, I've just, I've not even washed the brush yet. I've just picked up the blues, it's got the yellows in there, it's got, it's got the greys that are coming off the initial sketch. This grey was just made by, by um, Ben Umber, um, Ultramarine and a lot of white. And of course we've got a lot of white in the brush as well, with all those colours. So I've just put that in there, that looks like another misty plane. I want to cut and carve this land off so there these are obviously the big hills are in the shadows okay like that this is going to be a wall um we may have a little something there as well path going out little farmhouse yeah we'll do that we'll go for that okay let's grab a touch of i'm just going to grab a touch of of titanium white and just in fact let me put that down titanium white on the palette knife and I think we could just start uh, I just want to put a little grazing of white now it'll mix with the colors that we've just laid down so it won't stay true white just a little graze titanium white over the top of all that lot that may make it look a little bit thicker snow in places we can even blend with a knife there like so i'm taking a touch of the blues just the same just the same 
glues and just pushing that in as well that'll give a shadow of some of these snowy parts as well maybe i'll put a bit of blue under there so just grab a bit of that sky blue just a touch and we can just put a few shadows in and around like that merge it all together okay and just push it down push it in push it about this is where his little house is going to be do i put that in now or do i do it do it later i might start thinking about putting it in now i want to blend i want to blend under here because i want another sort of like a hill okay we're going to put a house just here and i've taken a little bit of a little bit of brown and red and white uh just the similar colors of what we've got on the trees and i think i've lost all the sketch now underneath but i think we'll have the front of it just about there it doesn't have to be a big house okay just a little bit of color on and if that looks too strong we can just wipe most of it away okay so i still want it to look a little bit misted out and pastely and stuff like that okay so that's the basics of the front of the of the building now we're going to put a side on this so how we're going to have the we'll have a gable there like that i think and it comes down maybe so when we've got that color on the go we, we, we may uh this reminds me of the cozy cottage one i did uh, a good few years ago a year or so ago all right so we'll put that in but we obviously want to shadow off some of this now we'll do a shadow off the front um, the sun's coming up there isn't it but it's coming over the top so we may just get that in play there okay so that's the foundations of the color i'm going to take a clean lint free tissue and i'm just going to push on this and take off most of that it'll peel it off because we're removing some of that material some of that oil paint and i think don't worry about this because this will be shadow work in the snow anyway and i think the grain of the canvas showing gives it that extra texture and it almost looks like brickwork when you look closely right for this side because we want it to remain dark i'm just touching on touch on just to absorb some oil there like that again we don't really give a hoot what goes on underneath like that there like so let's give the farmer a door so straight brown okay straight brown and on the palette knife and i'm just going to push on really push it in and just pull straight down like that wipe the knife clean okay and i'm just going to do the same thing push on and pull straight down there and again don't worry about the stuff underneath okay there we go and again there so we've removed the paint that's underneath there like that and just maybe just touch tap 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 take the eye spots off okay we could do that with a window as well so let's put some windows in a bit of blue maybe a bit of blue for the glass pane and maybe there's one there as well okay just a bit of blue so the sky blue but i've just dived straight into a little bit of prussian blue as well and i'm just going to touch touch with a palette knife you do this with a brush definitely there like that that's those windows in okay let's put some snow on the roof now is that dark enough don't know uh, i'm just using a very soft delicate little brush just full of blue paint and i'm just going to push it about right on the roof now this won't be the final color for the snow but obviously we're going to have some shadow snow so this is the shot i keep putting my hand in this sketch you know and i thought i've done all you know it's what we do isn't it it's what we do now 
but that's there right with that nice straight edge okay straight edge up at the top like that just fill it in like so come all the way down don't worry about picking up a bit of that muddy color that's the brick work okay because we could blend it in as well like that okay i want it to remain fairly pastely okay let's pick up some straight baby blue color i'm just going to put a bit over here that's the shadow side of these and then we're going to cut down there and put a bit of that in as well okay and we want a bit of a, that darker color darker blue underneath here okay just to emphasize deep snow on the roof like that shadows maybe it tees a few bits and pieces in we'll put a chimney on this as well maybe a bit of smoke coming out of it and i want to hit this with some white so i want to get some dark color down first some shadows first on the snow even a bit of cool color down here as well hmm Put some built up snow on here now a touch uh that blue color shadowy blue color same color really and i'm just going to drag it out there keep keep reloading it's, it's very small amount wow this is a big snow drift wow it's very small amount on here uh we'll just tease it in like that Go gentle because you can quickly overdo this. And the greys and the whites and all sorts that are on the canvas underneath will show through. Yeah, like that. I've also put a bit of white on the on the roof and a chimney. And uh, we'll put some smoke on at some point. Okay, right, where we're we gonna put this there. Here, like that. Another bit. The house is buried in the snow. So I've just put a little bit of blue down here. This is still dry, raw canvas, really. So just a little bit of blue down here. This is phthalo, sorry, this is Prussian blue and uh, a little bit of ultramarine and some white. And, and that's going to be the shadows either side of the road. We don't really want anything just in there just yet. Now, we're going to work, before we put the gate on, uh, to put some stuff behind that obviously because the, the, the gate's going to be in front of it so so they're painting a, around the gate with the paint of the path there okay and then just a little bit of blue down here this is dry remember so we're, we're not too concerned about that just yet let's put some stonework on so a little bit of the gray color still dirty brush okay and i think this stonework is going to start we're going to have lots of snow on it so we'll start down here this is just a, gr a grey colour, a burnt umber ultramarine, okay. Um, and we'll probably take it, take it all the way across, over the trees, okay, and just push this in. Very little paint, okay, but we can push it all around. If you put a lot of thick paint on, then it's going to jump straight out at you, and we don't want that. We want a little bit of colour, and then we can carve out some individual rocks and put some snow on some shadows and stuff like that so that's the gray for that side okay and we may change the shape every now and again if we need to let's put some on this side so does it come a bit i have maybe let's let's get a bit of paint start off down at the bottom because that's going to be the the darker part just down at the bottom and then work his way up Okay, again, you can see very little paint, but just push it about into that dry canvas. Okay, like that. Okay, and this is where it's, I want these in before we put as posts, as big wooden posts. There, like so. So that's that in place.
So let's put some colour on these these stones. You can see I've already done some there. Uh, so I'm just taking a little stony colour, and I'm just going to pick out some some random bricks. Okay, just just throw it in fan brush, and you don't have to paint them all, but just just paint a little bit of something in there. Okay, and we can see down at this corner. Okay, we've got like like this one. We're going to have some snow on the top. Make them a little bit regular. It's a slightly grey, greeny, sandstony colour. Is this? So we're throwing this in, just like that. Now let's take some dark colour. So let's take some dark colour. So I've got a little bit of black and burnt umber, actually on the dirty brush, and we're just going to throw some some shadows in here as well. Just work your way around some of your stones. And be a bit random at it as well. Don't they're all stacked up drywall stones, you see, all stacked up. And just like we've done over here, we'll put some snow on. Okay, use the corner of the brush and just push a bit of that, that shadow colour around. Uh, maybe a bit up there as well. Till you get something that resembles a kind of a wall. Okay. Bit of shadow work down there with a little bit of dark color now on on the palette knife we can start picking out the deep shadows and carving out where the little mouse would live or or something like that the deep shadows in this stonework there's a very thin layer of paint it's not thin paint but it's a very thin layer of paint up here okay and just push that paint in and around and again I'm putting a very thin layer of of dark colour down. A bit of black, a bit of blue, a bit of, bit of burnt umber, and you can't go wrong. And again, don't make them all uniform or anything like that. We're going to have some snow on, on some of these as well, just like we have done over there. A little blue, bluey grey colour on the stonework on the top. I'm just going to put some deeper shadows in as well of the snow. Just with a knife, take your time at it as well. And I'm going to put this shadow work in there, like that. I'll put some up there as well, like like so. And we may have to come back with a bit of a darker stony colour and just tease and tinker with it. Okay, maybe a bit of shadow work under there. Shadow snow. This is oh, this is not white. You can't see any white on this stone work at all. It's just variants of blues in the lighter and darker shades okay we might have a bit of a, something there as well okay and then just tease them together a lot of snow build up there okay i want a lot across there like that it's a rough stone isn't it we're gonna have a tree but i don't know i think the tree's gonna go somewhere well it is now somewhere through there like that but we'll paint the stone working first and then take off any excess we want Let's paint these big old fence posts. So a tiny touch of yellow ochre mixed in to some burnt umber. And we're just going to zip it straight through there like that. That's a big old post, yeah? And we're just going to lay some colour down first. And I'm not bothered if it's wobbly or I'm not bothered if, if it's straight. We've just got to put the post in. So hold this big gate up okay i'm going to put a lighter color just there in a minute but again we want one on this side but just because of the way the painting's taken place this wall looks slightly further towards the horizon only about about a foot i would say in the perspective of things but there we go just fill that color in right. So, now of course, I will take a step back shortly to see where we are with that, but I'm just going to hit some white. Right, let's take a highlight colour and pop that there. Of course, there's lots of different colours on this brush, like that. So that's one side done. Okay, where do we go on this one? Which one needs... Let me concentrate on this one first. Okay, so... I'm just going to gently pull down, hardly touch, hardly touch, hardly touch. I'm going to have some snow on the top, I think, as well. Yeah, like 
that. Now then, so the gate posts are in place, let's paint the gate. So again, bit of dark colour, and I'm just going to come here just about there. Like that. Dark wood colour. Okay, just paint that in, make it wibbly wobbly. Old aged wood, and across to this side, and we'll do the same. I'm leaving a trying to leave a tiny gap between the post and the gate, uh, like so. Okay, I'm gonna now paint a diagonal line right from there, right down to there. Okay, that's your diagonal. All right, that's your post for one. And then we can go across. Don't worry that I haven't hit it. Uh, like so. Like that, all across that paint. There. And let's paint another one across the top. So again, I'm gonna start off there. Now this needs some snow on as well. Take it across there like that. And then we want some more slats. So again, load up. And we're going to go across there. Old wood. Old wood. And another one, reload. Do we get three in there? I don't know. We'll just start off there. See what it looks like. And like that. So a nice old gate. A nice old gate that just needs refining now. I'm going to take a step back and see what we've got. I'm just using the angled palette knife just to put a little bit of light blue snow up here okay i'm not going for white okay well, i want it to remain like a, a cool shadowy thing just gently put a bit of snow on there i can have the angle like that and just tap on and maybe a little bit of a build up of snow and if it's got a bit of that wood color on there that's perfectly fine because You'd see that, wouldn't you? You'd see a little bit of wood sticking through the, uh, the, the snow. Okay, a little bit on this one. And then if we need to, we can put a little bit of, bit of white snow maybe up there. Or maybe even a little bit of pale yellow snow just for the sunlight is really glowing on it. Yeah, there's a bit of snow build up there maybe. Just like that. Tease it in, tease it in. I'm just using the fan brush with a bit of white on, on here, just to create some humps and bumps in the snow before we put the trees in place. So just grab a bit of titanium white. There's obviously greys and blues down, down there. And where there's a high spot of snow, just, just put it in just very thickly and then just smooth it over. Okay, just smooth it over, just like so. Shape it, shape the ground, where this tree is going to sit, so they might sit somewhere here. So we're just going to shape, there's a lot of snow, there's going to be lots of bushes and stones and all sorts underneath this snow drift. So we need to put in a fair old amount, but don't lose all your blue areas, because there are the shadows and and things like that so you need to keep the colors pretty neat okay plenty of snow plenty of snow okay we're going for silver birches so with a light blue color i'm just going to use light blue okay and we'll bring it down there on a very thin or a very small fan brush and it's going to live about there okay i'm using light blue then i can highlight one side of it with white or a whitish color a lighter blue i think let's just work on this just build its trunk up okay so you can hardly see that there 
but we're going to mix some browns into it we're obviously going to put the dark spots on and the darker branches that will be with umber and black so there we go fattening up a little bit like that there we go that's one let's paint another one so another one I'll leave just starting off there and come down. Maybe there's two in one. Maybe there's two friends, two tree friends there. All the way up. Remember it's light blue. It's the shadow colour of your snow. Right, so that. So we've got a pale side and a darker blue side to these trees, these silver birches, just like that. I'm just going to blend that in there, look like so. Get rid of that brush. Now I'm going to take a little script brush, a little liner brush, and I'm going to just start to put on. Let's have a look how this is going to look. Some little bits of silver birch wood now this will take a, a while and I, I i expect it to take a while it's quite quite nice but you want to make some like all shoe shapes and some little dots and lines and stuff just like this but remember we're going around the tree we're not we're not going straight across we want to go around this might be some bits in front we'll carry on doing this till we've got a zebra looking tree okay so we've got most of the foreground done uh i carried on doing a little bit of stuff on the back and some twigs and stuff like that up in the up in the tree but i just want to put a little bit of smoke just up here coming from the chimney now this is just another gray blue color right getting it all up, up there like so okay just a little bit of smoke don't want to make his house on fire and take a blender brush i'm going to use this one make sure it's dry and all i'm going to do i'm not going to blend and swirl i'm just going to tap just like so and then we've got a little bit of smoke from the fire of this nice little cottage that easy there we go Just a little bit of dusting of snow off the palette knife and we've got a finished painting. If you've enjoyed this one, give it a big old thumbs up, like the video, subscribe if you've not done so already, leave me a comment and until next time, take care of yourself. Stay safe. Happy days.